The city of Bemidji has taken further steps in creating a police advisory committee. Reporter Betsy Moline spoke with the chief of police on what is coming next for the group. Bemidji City Council has made the decision to continue to move forward with bringing a police advisory committee. This initiative has been on the city's radar since a listening session in August. Well, I think it was a positive move to continue this initiative. You know, we, we, we opened up uh, a, a listening session to hear from the citizens, which was a good thing. At the most recent city council meeting, it was voted unanimously to create a work session, which will eventually lead to the committee. The decision was to create a work group, and that uh, essentially is going to be a group, like I said, a group of representatives, and how that's set up, I, I don't know yet. You know, um, the council, uh, I, I think I think a prudent move would be to wait until the new members are in. The makeup and responsibility of the proposed committee have not yet been decided, but Chief Maston urges Bemidji to remain patient. It will, it'll take some time and people have to be patient. Um, you know, you always talk about knee-jerk reactions and you kind of regret those, those things you make and those choices you make. We need to take time. We need to get this right. That work group will likely not be decided until January when the new council members begin their tenure. City Council will have a final say on approving the list of members. Law enforcement is committed to creating the advisory committee. But I still don't want to give up on this idea of engaging citizens and working together to find the solutions because it'll never work if we continue to pick sides, if we continue to, uh, you know, view people without information. And I'm hoping that moving forward we, we can assemble this working group that will be made up of uh, a diverse group of people and we can all talk and learn from each other. Chief Maston hopes this will be an opportunity for law enforcement to connect with groups that may feel unheard. So, so Forming a, an advisory group like this, I think, will help us connect with those groups that we don't seem to be able to connect with, um, that, that can help us get our message out and get information out. Reporting in Bemidji, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. The work group will likely host more listening sessions in the future to hear community opinions on the makeup of the committee. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.